welcome. Welcome. On another exciting project here. <laughs> we got a 10 by 12 ecosystem pond going in, five foot stream and waterfall. So you can see behind me, we have a deck space that we're going to be capitalizing on some views there. Also, I don't know if you can see this on camera, but it is very, very sloped here. So we kind of have to build up the one side and uh, build that up so we can build up our pond and get that all, you know, water stays level. So we gotta build a level pond. Um, so we're gonna be building up the one side, digging out the other side, but it does create some really cool opportunities for our waterfall as well. So we've got some really awesome stone coming. Very excited about that. And uh, yeah, looking forward to this one. So you can see here, I am sitting on the deck right now. This is kind of where the pond's gonna be going. The waterfall is gonna be going up this way. It's gonna be about five feet long. Um, and you can see maybe on the camera a little bit more now how much slope is here. So that's one of the challenges. The other challenge we have here is getting our machines into the back. The one for sure we can fit through here. The other one we're hoping to get through here. Otherwise we may have to come through the woods somehow. But uh, I'll figure that out when the machines get here. Should be arriving very shortly. All of our product has to come down the house here into the backyard. So a bit of a trek there as well. But yeah, this project can be incredible, especially in this setting here. Very, very natural. They're looking for a very natural looking pond here. So we are going to be uh, taking care of that for them. All right, so here is the rough layout of our pond here. So our skimmer is gonna go down there. This is gonna be our uh, waterfall coming in here and we're gonna have our biofalls set up there. We gotta make sure that we can still get through there. Um, Cause yeah, they do have to kind of walk through here yet. So yeah, we're gonna level out this top area here as well. So they can uh, maybe bring some chairs and get a little closer here. Um, there's a nice bench that we'll probably set up as well. But uh, yeah, time to start digging. We did it, yeah. <clears throat> so we got the thing back here, the excavator being the thing. And now we have to put the cap right back on and then we can start digging. Sounds of excitement. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so we got the cap back on and now it is time to start digging this thing out. Little progress update here on our pond in Jordan. We are making our way through this pond and waterfall even though it's been raining for the last day off and on. Yesterday we got rained out about 2.30 and then this morning it's kind of been raining off and on and it's starting again right now actually. So uh, it's been really muddy but um, things are looking really good. So let me uh, show you what's going on here. So you can see the amount of rain we have had in the last day just by the amount of rain we have in this pond right now. We're fighting through it, but we're getting our waterfall built here. 
looking incredible. We have, that's kind of where the water is going to originate from. We have our biofalls set up there. It's going to come around there, over this rock here, and over this rock, dropping through there into the pond, and then coming in here, pulling up. And there's a whole bunch of cool little notches in this rock here. So little spots like this where the water should travel through really nicely. So that's going to look awesome. We have our lights going in as well. Everything's just muddy here. So the rain's just about to start again. We'll uh, keep on going. Wish us luck. We are very excited about this waterfall. Just wanted to give you a little bit of a close up here before we have everything running and pebbled in. Um, this rock right here is a really awesome spot. That water is going to come off through here and drop right into the pond. There's going to be a nice taller waterfall. And then this rock here is actually set about two to three inches above water level. So the water just kind of roll off the front of it through all these little veins in the rock, which look really awesome. So we're gonna have a pooling area here as well. This is a spillway stone. So we're gonna have some water coming through here, some over here, hitting this rock, rolling back into this pool. And then we're gonna have another set of waterfalls, like I said, going over the corner there from up here. And then this is where our biofalls is of originates up here. So this is kind of going to be a couple different spots where the water is going to come through. Originally we are going to try to get water through here. There's a cool little cavern in there, but that didn't work out. So we moved the rock over a little bit. And uh, if we did try to do that, basically this whole pool would be cut off by uh, this guy. So we decided to move them over, get a bit more of a pooling area in here. And uh, yeah, that's our waterfall. We are on to the final stages here on this pond build. Um, things are looking really, really good. We are still fighting with mud. It rained again last night and it's finally sunny a little bit, starting to dry up. So hopefully we we're able to get some of our landscape rocks in. We still have to get a couple on this side. So we'll see if that mud holds up over there. That's the challenge for this afternoon. We got all our edge work. Evan and Isaac did all the edge work this morning. Looks really good, and uh, yeah, things are just filling up here. We'll be able to run it very shortly, so looking forward to that. Stay tuned for the final reveal. are wrapping up here in Jordan. Everything here turned out amazing. Really, really love how it fits into this backyard. The waterfalls look really, really natural. Very happy with how they turned out. The client loves it. Um, yeah, and Evan and Isaac did a great job finishing this one up because I was out and about doing some service calls. Um, but yeah, let me turn you guys around and show you what it looks like. So they have this really awesome deck area in the back. We got some really cool banana trees up here, but uh, yeah. This is the view from up top. It turned out really, really awesome. We got more views from up there. So they have a balcony, that's where the bedrooms are, and they're gonna keep the windows open definitely now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, check it out. Love the shape of it. Super organic. We got a couple plantings in the edge of the stream 
Um, our friend Cheryl is gonna come here and she's gonna do some more plantings around it to make it look even better. But check out this waterfall. All the twists and turns and this is just one waterfall but there's so many little different drops in it. Looks really awesome, even one falling in there. We've got this super cool flat rock. There's some channels, natural channels through it. That's kind of where the water's traveling in different areas. I really like this waterfall here. Kind of just slides over the rock and falls in. We got lights there, there, and on that one as well. We also have a little secret waterfall just right there. Add some more interest to this. There's a little walkway up here. And from this walkway, this is the view from up here. Even there's just little details like this guy falls back in on itself. Really, really awesome. The pond is a bit cloudy yet. It should clear up in a day or two. But I really like the shape of it. We already got a lily in there. And I love some of these big rocks on the edges. Holding up some of this grade. We created a nice flat area before this uh, whole yard was sloped down that way so we created a bit of a flat area i'm going to grab a couple chairs right now after we do this and uh, put them right here so they can enjoy this pond up close and personal but uh yeah very very happy with how this one turned out really really awesome a couple big flat rocks kind of sets the stage for the rest of the waterfall twisting and turning and so much happening in a little space 